It was a day to give account of his mandate since he was sworn in to serve the good people of his local government area, Kushofe local government area in Lagos State. Barista Moyoshore Ogunlewe, the executive chairman of Kushofe local government area of Lagos State on Thursday, the 11th of November, 2021, marked his 100th day in office at the Kushofe local government secretariat, Ugudu, Lagos. In attendance at the event were APC stalwarts, supporters and well-wishers of barista Moyo Shari Ogunlewe, who testified of his zeal, hard work and determination to fulfill the promises he made to his people. He has done this through laudable projects on education, health, security and other areas of concern for the people of Kushofe local government area. Among dignitaries at the event who came to celebrate Barista Moyo Shari Ogunlewe's 100th day in office, Alahadi Kendi Bello, Kushofe local government area APC party chairman, Friends Honorable Rotimi Agusoye, member representing Kushofe Federal Constituency, Honorable Mrs. Yetunde Arubi Eke, Commissioner, Minister of Wealth, Creation and Employment, Lagos State. The Chairman and CEO, Biscon Communications, Prince Dr. Bisio Latilo. Kushofe Local Government Chairman, Barista Muyo Shari Ogunlewe, also had the rare privilege of having his parents, Senator Adeshe Ogunlewe and his mother, Mrs. Ogunlewe, to share in his glory. The man of the day, Barista Muyo Shari Ogunlewe, since he was sworn into office, has raised the bar of excellence in Kushofe Local Government area of Lagos State. He has left no stone unturned in terms of development and has kept his promise to indeed be a grassroots politician. In his remarks, he gave an account of his stewardship in the past 100 days in office. He thanked party stalwarts, particularly various leaders in Kushofe local government area and the All Progressives Congress APC party members who stood strongly by him all through the electioneering campaign process. Today marks an important landmark in the annals of Koshofe local government area as we, as we render the account of stewardship in the last 100 days to the people of this local government who graciously gave us their mandate. Foremost, I want to thank God Almighty, the author and the finisher of every good things for giving us the wisdom to accomplish the modest achievements recorded over the past 100 days in office. Secondly, my depth gratitude goes to our leader of all leaders, the political strategies, and inshallah, the awaiting president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Jagatan Bogu, the Ashwajo of the universe, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We cannot thank him enough for his support and encouragement. He said the past 100 days have been very eventful with the rollout of people-oriented programs and projects, among which are construction of a customary court and administrative office, distribution of 150 GCE forms, construction of 10 roads, inner roads and drainage systems, the purchase of vehicles to aid health services and businesses, and many more, all within three months in office. With only three months in office, this administration can proudly say that in terms of work, we imprinted our footprints in the sands of time and verifiable achievements. Our achievements, we have purchased four revenue buses for rear offices within the local government. We purchased an Aluta jet for the National Union of Local Government Employees, NELGA, to aid their services. We also purchased a new legislative bus for smooth running of administrative work. We newly purchased a dispatch motorcycle for service delivery. Construction of road and drainages across Koshofe, um, Mende, Maryland, um, Abirian Street to be precise, done. Awanatu Street, drainages 80% done. Road 80% done. Alarami Street, 60% done. Adibaya Mukulu, Odubela Street, ongoing. Okuda Aero Street, ongoing. Idowudada, ongoing. Jolos ongoing. Arawi, ongoing.
Barista Muyo Shore Ogunlewe added that his administration has imprinted its footprints in the sands of time and reiterated his commitment to build the Koshofelva dream. We say the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And our community took that step together on the day I was sworn in as the chairman of the local government. Some months ago, I stood before you all, just as I stand before you now, and made promises every one of you, to every one of you. Most of you believed in me then, believed in my intentions to even do greater things. You declared me tested and trusted and gave me the opportunity to serve you all. For that, my team and I are truly, truly grateful for that. Prioritizing the welfare of the people is, for, is very important to any government success. And this is why I always want to hear our uh, views and comments to see what is wrong and how it can be put right. The people of Koshofe uh, will always be this administration's number one priority. It was what we promised and it is what we will deliver. Goodwill messages from party members followed afterwards. Alahaji Kende Bello, Koshofe local government area party chairman in his remarks, commended the doggedness of the local government chairman, Barista Muyo Shari Ogunlewe. He expressed satisfaction with his administration and commended him for doing so much in such a short time. And you see, uh, you know, see what you get the alaga and she shared that for glory. Go to your body, me, me, your meji, oh my queen, any baba, me bolewa, oh Jackie, or me, who let go call a bakila day, me, or in the single call. You will lead that out any year. Although I did your good lemon at a la fiara. Ah, what is better, missing, and you are Honorable Prince Roti Miyagosoye, member representing Kushofe Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives, in his appraisal of the laudable projects carried out by Barista Moyo Shari Ogunlewe, said, When youth are given an opportunity, they do exploits. He praised President Muhammad Buhari for signing the Not Too Young to Run bill, saying that it was a decision in the right direction. He also called for more youth participation in politics. Going through what the chairman has been able to do, purchase of four revenue buses for area offices within the local government, purchase of a looter jet bus for National Union of Local Government Employees, no, it's a very good one. Newly purchased ambulance for efficient service for all health centers in Kochofe local government. That you give him a round of applause. Purchase of new legislators' box for smooth running of administrative work. Newly purchased of dispatch motorcycles for service deliveries. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I am promising you here today that the motorcycle that you're talking about, I am going to give you two. I served as Deputy Executive Secretary in Ikorodu in 2002. We've been agitating for somebody like this at the grassroots uh, government. And good enough that you people, you have, you've been able to give us Moyo Sori Obuloiwe to do the job. Moyo, God will continue to bless you. God will continue to be with you. God will continue to direct your path. And in what in God we trust. Thank you. For Honorable Mrs. Yetunde Arubi Eke, Commissioner, Ministry of Wealth, Creation and Employment, Lagos State, she believes allocations to local government can be used judiciously. According to her, 
Barista Muyo Shari Ogunewe has proven that politics most times is about personality and not structure. She said she's proud of Barista Muyo Shari Ogunewe's achievements so far and praised him for his giant strides. Grassroots is very, very key, very, very important. And that is why I quite appreciate what the federal government did by returning and giving all that the, the local government needs to them so that they can perform. Gone are the days where you say uh, money given to local government are badly spent. Come and look at what is happening within 100 days in this virtue. You will be convinced without doubt that money given to local government are judiciously spent. Congratulations once again, Moyo, and I wish you all the best. I pray you will continue in this great stride. And as, uh, in fact, I will put you into my prayers because I can see that you have the intention, you have the will, and you are really using it appropriately, directing it to where it's supposed to be. So, uh, congratulations once again, and I wish you all the best. In the same vein, Honorable Baba Tundi Okolawo, former Special Advisor on Food and Security to former Governor Ambody of Lagos State, and Mrs. Kikelemo Sayolu, a representative of the Commissioner of Local Government and Community Affairs, Lagos State, both praised Barista Moyo Shari Ogunewe for a job well done so far. All that you have done resonates good governors and nothing more. And we are so proud of you for all of this. Thank you for all the giant strides. Thank you for performing. Thank you for hiding value. I'd rather call you a value harder because you made something on ground and you're hiding value day by day. We thank you for all of this. We thank you that we do not have any regret on you. We do not have any regret. You are really, really performing. And um, I can only and join the entire people of Koshafe, local government, to continue to support you, to be patient and support you. We need your support so that uh, we can continue to achieve this dance strides that is achieving. As a young, vibrant and energetic chairman, you have really performed. You know, as um, Chief Mrs. Um, Arobi Aka said that APC, the state government, has put the right text in the right holes. You know, gone are those days where we think that it is only the elderly ones that can perform. These days, our youth, they have a lot of ideas. Even that, ideas that are even better, ideas that are better than that of we older ones. You know, we have been able to demonstrate this to the local government, that you are young, you are vibrant. And on this note, I pray that the Lord will continue to guide and direct you. And, you know, you will continue to swear I, Fantabulous Moyo. Because from what we have seen in the program, you have done very, very well within 100 days. And I must commend you for that. The ceremony to mark Barista Muyo Shari Ogunlewe's 100 days in office witnessed the commissioning of ambulances for primary health care centers across the LCDAs, as well as buses for revenue and legislative purposes, and for markets women, popularly referred to as Yalojas. There were music performances and cultural displays by various groups who thrilled the audience. From Biscon Communications, it's congratulations to Barista Moya Shari Ogunlewe, the chairman of Koshofe Local Government Area of Lagos State, for a job well done after a hundred days in office.